the sun is rising on a brand new Minecraft day. Hello everyone, and welcome to a let's play of an older version of Minecraft. Um, not exactly what we're used to today, uh, but this is the Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. This release, not even sure when, but a very long time ago, 2010, 2011. <coughs> Uh, it still has that sound in the game. Um, and that's all I have for the intro. I think I just wanted to relax, spend some time in the nostalgic versions. Um, the first time I played Minecraft was actually on mobile. So I didn't play this exact version of the game, but I did play something close to it. Um, I can't even remember, this was like years ago when I first played this game. Like I said, I just wanted to relive some of the memories, just wanted to relax, and I think this is a good version of the game to do that in. I don't have too many plans for this world. I have a base layout kind of planned out, uh, but not to any large extent. I kind of just want to go with the flow, and we'll see what happens. I hope you all take this time to just relax like I am. I was wondering if this was the first version you played. Maybe if you could share some of your memories in the comments if you would like to. Maybe you're not missing as well. Or maybe you're just here for a good time. Maybe you're listening to this like a podcast and not even watching the video. Who knows? Anyways, thank you very much. And wow, I have to click every single time I there's no shift clicking in this as I was saying thank you very much for showing up I appreciate it and I hope you enjoy this as much as I do I think the first thing I have planned for this video is just to probably get some basic materials probably survive the first night and maybe try and find a place to build a house. I know there's no shipwrecks in this version, there's no villages. The only thing this version has is, I believe, a dungeon. So, all of the items I'm going to be grabbing are going to be collected myself. There's no villages to steal from, there's no desert temples. It's just me and this open blank canvas of a world and a skeleton which I don't even know how he got to where he is but I hear a skeleton and I am scared Let's just make some basic stone tools wow those crafting men just take a long time to break even with this oh, The one thing that this version has that the newer versions don't, I guess now they do with caves and cliffs, but this version, that's a great example, has insane terrain generation. It also has no hunger system and no sprinting. I know, I believe at this time Notch decided to implement all of the adventure update stuff in 1.8. So the reason I chose beta 1.7.3 is because it has the most features of the older versions while also keeping the older aesthetics of like no running, no, no hunger, there's no elytra. I think the only thing in here to move is saddled pigs. Jesus, look at this world generation. A skeleton. Somewhere in there. Oh, hello. Nope, I'm not fighting you. I'm done. I figure out their bows are different. They don't have to wind up their bows as much as they do in the current versions. Wow, that's a big ocean. Oh, there's coal up there. That's exactly. 
exactly what I need. How do I get up there, though? Uh, I think I just have to... Oh, I can just grab that... Oh, jeez. I can just grab that coal. Well, this music is nice. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit so you can still... You can hear the music, but you can also hear me. And... Just to reminisce on the nostalgic times, I'm going to... Stop talking while I mine this coal, and I'll let you just listen to the music. I said I don't have plans for this video, and then I keep on mentioning plans. Um, but for these videos, that's still very loud. I want to hear the music, but I also want to make sure you can hear me, so... We're still working on it. And one thing I don't want to do in this video is edit it too much. I kind of want this just to be a pure Minecraft experience, so... Alright, that was nice. I don't want to like any massive cuts or anything like that i just want to pretty much just play the game and then just upload the footage that's all i plan on doing so there's no it's not gonna be any montages i'm also gonna do nothing off camera every time i play on this world i'm gonna be recording so i'm not gonna do the typical Minecraft let's play of I did some mining off camera and I have like full netherite. His netherite doesn't even exist in this version. If you see me walking around a lot, I'm trying to find a good place to build my house. I have a good idea in my mind that I want to try and execute. Uh, but I'm not going to share it just yet. I'm going to wait until I find the area. And then probably in either episode 2 or 3 when I start building. That's when I'll share the details of this house. But for now, we're just exploring. Gathering what we can. Fighting what we can. And just exploring. Seeing what's around. For example, we just found a desert. I think... If I remember correctly... Dead bushes don't give you anything in this. Yeah, there's no sticks to be gotten. What I do know is that cactuses are ginormous when they drop on the ground. Don't know why, though. Pigs. I... I'm trying to think. I don't know if there's a way to breed animals in this. I think... Like, I don't know if farms even work. I'd certainly got one poor shop in that. Well, well, obviously, like, farming works with, like, crops and stuff, but I genuinely don't think it's possible to farm mobs. Because I think they just despawn, because there's no name tags to keep them around. And with the way generation works, I think they just despawn. But, who knows. Like I said, I haven't played this version in a long time, so... Sorry. Um, I'm probably just gonna be learning as much as you are. The sun is starting to go down. I haven't found a good place to build yet. I guess what I'm looking for in this base, I want it to be close to a mountain, but like not on the mountain. 
I don't know. I, I have ideas, and you'll just have to wait and see what those ideas are. But for now, I think I'm just gonna just run around and farm, grab what I can, loot what I can, and probably build into the wall in a second. Come on, I think this one even has to be. There's nothing in here. How deep does this go? Oh, this is perfect. Okay, um, let's use our wood. Let's go right here. There we go. Let's make a door. Home sweet home. Oh, I, I forgot. Torches do, like, nothing in this version. It's so dark, even though I have, like, six torches out. Now, while I could sleep, I think what I'm going to focus on is just making this a... That was scary. I think I'm just going to focus on getting this area more situated probably cooking some of the food I have and then probably sleeping doing a little bit more exploring in the morning and then going to bed because I have no clue how long I've been recording for so oh I forgot you have to like shift click it yeah I think my main plan is to keep these episodes relatively short not like five minutes or anything, but probably close to like the 15-ish minute mark, maybe 15 to 20. I don't want to do what some other people do, which is just record for two hours. I think that's, for me, way too long because I'm not that interesting and I cannot speak for that long without running out of stuff to say. Like, I've already ran out of things to say and now I'm just mumbling. I was thinking of future plans. That's all I've got going for me. I'm sad the music went away. It was it was nice. One of the main reasons I came back was to listen to the music. And just to experience Minecraft in a different way. I'm not sure about you guys, but for me personally, I feel like Minecraft is just getting boring in its current version. There's so much to do and so many things you can achieve that it almost feels like the game is getting stale. Like I've done everything that's possible. Because I have a hardcore world. Um, I posted one episode on it. Like, I think it was like a year ago. I, I wasn't consistent with that. That was like highly edited and I didn't want to spend so much time editing that. But like in that world I have an XP farm, I have gunpowder farms and iron farms. There's really nothing for me to do in that world besides just building and getting more overpowered. Wow furnace is taking a long time to break. <laughs> So the reason I'm not really playing on that world that much is, like, I have a big plan. I want to build, like, a Neo City on that world, but, oh, it's a cat. Like, I want to build a giant city, but it just takes a lot of time and effort, and I don't feel like it's rewarding enough. Like, in this version, you have to learn patience because it takes time to do anything in these older versions like you can't even run <laughs> like it takes that much patience 
I just got my first iron, and it's day two. Whereas if I was speedrunning the hardcore world, I would probably be close to diamonds by now. Probably from a buried treasure map, I wouldn't even have to have mined them. And in this version, you have to mine. This definitely is the definition of Minecraft, where you're mining for materials, and crafting them, and then doing whatever else you want, because you're the only person in this world. There's nothing else here, it's just you. And squids. See, when I wanted to build my base, I wanted it to be near a mountain, but everything here is so flat, like, I was kind of hoping it would grow at least a little bit in elevation, but it's all barren, which I mean is fine, I could build in an area like that, if anything it just gives me more room to expand, but for what I want right now, that's not what I'm trying to get. I want to explore this entire land. Oh, whoa. Okay. Wow, boats are slow. This is... Uh, actually, that's not too bad. This is full speed ahead. This is as fast as these can go. I see that, that might be a good area over there. Maybe on the inside. Because then I have this ocean here. With more mountains on the other side. If this boat would move. I, th I think that right there is a good area. I'm going to go explore that. Obviously on my way I'm going to get these cows. How do I... Oh, it just breaks? Oh, I remember. Anytime you have a boat in these older versions and you get out, I think if you're like against the block, it'll automatically break into three planks and two sticks. I don't know why, but it did that. Oh, I this is so cool. <laughs> like, this is the most basic game. There's literally no purpose in playing this, but I'm still having so much fun just because of memories. <laughs> and even though there's like nothing to do and there's no purpose, it still feels like you have everything to do. Like, I have just started exploring what this game has to offer. And I think that's the beauty of these older versions is... Like I was stating before, in the newer versions, when you build farms, like, that completely removes that portion of the game from your playthrough. Like if I build, let's say, an iron farm, I never have to mine again. Like, it's that simple. Whereas in this version, there is no iron farm. You can't build a giant farm that just produces mass items that you don't even know what to do with. In this, you have to farm and mine for every single item. There's no freebies. And I think that's what makes it great. Speaking of great, this might be an area to build in. I don't know, because I want there to be at least something. Oh, this sword's about to break. And there's really nothing here, though. This mountain is cool, but that's not flat. And this is just a barren wasteland. That could be cool. What I'm hoping...
hoping to find is like an area that's both elevated and flat. That's what I'm hoping to find. Oh, what the? That was weird. I just started moving on my own. So I can just eat these. There you go. Another thing I'm hoping to find soon is a place to build a storage system, because I'm already out of inventory space. All of your pork chops are separated, so... They don't stack. I've got, what, nine slots of food? I'm not even gonna kill that sheep, because I can't carry its wool. One for every spot. Here we go. Uh oh. <coughs> Got my pork chops. I think this is what I'm looking for. This looks nice. You got this large flat area that I can use. And then up there, you've got the giant mountain and the cliffside. see what's over here. I think this could be the spot, though. This looks like the spot. Yeah, it's like... It's barren over here, but I think that works with that mountain. I could also go to the snowy area. Ooh, let's see what's in the snowy area. I know I said I didn't want these episodes to be too long. This is already like 20 minutes, probably closer to 30. So I'm just going to find out where to build, and then that will probably be the end of this episode. Ooh, this is nice, because it's got that water here. I think this is the area right here. We have this flat, barren land here, which then we can build next to this giant lake and build something down there and then we have these mountains i think this is it i think this is the area where we are gonna build and then out here we have another flat area i can build something out there and we've got this massive ocean here i think this is it well since i can't go into f5 mode and look at the front of my character i'm just gonna stay where i am so thank you all very much for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed i hope you plan on sticking around and exploring the older versions of the game like i am and that's about all i have to say thank you very much and i will see you all in the next episode see ya